How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Futsal 2005. Yet again, another weekly update video. It is week 52 of 2022 and it is the final week of this year. So we're going to be doing a bit of a recap in this video about what we got over the entire year, along with showing you guys some new leaks which has come out this week. As usual, just the usual update video really. If you do enjoy these update video guys, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. We try to do them every single week and this is the last week of 2022. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss all of the 2023 updates that I'll be giving you guys. So for this final week, what have we had? Now, before we get into the new leaks, which is all to do with Porsche, we have one Twitter support update from Forza. Apparently there was an issue where players were unable to log into the My Forza section of Forza.net. Um, the forums and support site were still working. It's just the My Forza section and they were investigating it. However, just yesterday they issued a fix to sort this out. So if you have that issue, it is now fixed. In terms of Forza support, that's all of the issues they have had over the past week. So it's been pretty good there. Now about the new leaks, which I like to cover. We all love, we all love leaks on this channel, don't we? Well, believe it or not, it's from Porsche. Now Porsche themselves put out a community post on YouTube that is the following here. Basically, they're just talking about all of the Porsches that we can drive within Forza Horizon 5. And they take us to a link to their website where they just list every Porsche that's in the game that you can drive. But what's been noted is the fact that the screenshot that they use, which is this one here, actually has two cars in it which isn't in the game, or which aren't in the game, I should say. It is this orange car right here, which is the Porsche 928, and then this white car right here, which is the Porsche 906 Carrera 6. These are two cars that were back in Horizon 4, but are not in Horizon 5. So they're not brand new, but they are not in Horizon 5. And obviously they have been spotted in this screenshot. Now, just because Porsche posted about them doesn't mean we're gonna get them. In the actual list on the link that they posted, in the list that they provided, the cars aren't actually on the list, which is correct because you can't drive them in Horizon 5. But maybe it means something, maybe they are going to come to the game. They're obviously still in the files because they are in this screenshot. So the Porsche 928 and the Porsche 906 can be added to the leaked car list because they have now been spotted within a screenshot. We know they're still sort of in the game files. I'd quite like to see the Porsche 928 returning. You may remember Porsche 928 is the car that was very controversial back on the Top Gear episode many years ago. The one with the uh, controversial number plate. What else happened this week? Well, we had the Lamborghini Sien gifted to us on December the 26th because we finally completed all of the gifted cars required for the Secret Santa event. Now, what was funny about this is it, it landed to us basically the day after Christmas and everybody's going on about it being rigged and it was just so Sort of rigged to be done on that certain day about the lamborghini scene over on twitter they actually said that they did tease the scene many many months ago in a torben tuesday we all love torben tuesdays we've not had one in a while i'm kind of missing them they actually teased the Lamborghini scene within the Torben Tuesday and it didn't take someone to spot what it was. Props to one Sopka one on Twitter because there's this guy's screenshot that I used. But within the tweet, they actually hid the letter S-I-A-N as capital letters, which spells out Sian. So pretty cool to see that nobody spotted the Lamborghini Sian hint many months ago over on the Torben Tuesday. So in terms of new stuff this week, that's kind of it. What we're going to do now is have a look at just how many new cars, how many new features we've received over the past year, just to see what this year has been like. Let me know in the comment section below what update was your favourite over the course of 2022 and what and what type of update would you like to see them add more of in 2023 such as new cars in an update or evolving world things in an update stuff like that so the year started off back in january as happy new year for series three we got eight new cars plus four car pass cars and two new pr stunts in series four it was world cup we got new clothing and all that stuff. We got a special event, the obviously the World Cup competition. We got five new cars and we got four new car pass cars. 
Series 5 was Horizon Rush Takeover. We got another special world event, which was the Stunt Park. We got 16 new PR stunts, 5 new cars and 4 new car pass cars, along with event lab changes and additions. Series 6 was Horizon Customs. We got a new game mode, which was the open custom racing. We got a new Horizon story, and then we got 5 new cars plus 4 new car pass cars. Along with that, we got some event lab additions as well. Series 7 was Cinco de Mayo. We got a Horizon Tour update. We had more Event Lab additions, 5 new cars and 4 new car pass cars. Series 8 was the German Automotive Collection. We got 3 new cars plus 4 car pass cars. Now there are a lot of features that I'm missing but these are little stuff. These aren't the key things. I'm mainly pointing out the key things of each update that most players want the most, which is cars and big features and customization and stuff like that. Series nine was Hot Wheels. Obviously we got one expansion. We got the Horizon Stories Co-op, which is like a game mode feature, and we got 10 new cars. Series 10 was Extreme E. We got 15 new cars and a new customization update. Series 11 was Rami's Racing History. We got seven new cars and a new Horizon Story. Horizon Road Trip was Season 12, we got 5 new cars, plus 2 body kits. A customization update I would say. Series 13 was the Anniversary Update, we got 5 new cars, new customization, a new game mode and a new Horizon Story. In hindsight that was a pretty good update. In Series 14 was Donut Media, we got 4 new cars, we got new customization, which is Rocket Bunny, and we got a new Horizon Story. And then finally, we'll leave it on Series 15, which is the current one. We got six new cars, another public event, which is the Secret Santa, and we got evolving world changes over in the ice rink. So on screen right now, you can see a very brief summary of what we got this year. All of the cars, all of the features, the Horizon stories and stuff like that. There's no way of knowing if we're going to get something similar to this next year in 2023, the same amount of cars, the same amount of new stories, but Looking at it this way, we got quite a lot of stuff this year, like quite a lot of stuff. And I'd say it's a pretty safe presumption to make that we've got at least two more years of Horizon 5 before Horizon 6. So this is only the start. We've still got lots and lots of lots of updates to go. Now, Playground Games actually have their own graphic, which is probably going to be similar to mine, but a bit more in detail. And this will include the 2021 updates which i haven't included because that wasn't this year that was last year but we can see that there's been 137 cars um 23 body kits 414 clothing items event lab features you can see everything on screen there was just a lot of stuff and i'd like to remind you all that even though we all complain about updates and we all think they're lackluster and we all don't like the new cars this is all free. The only thing we've had to pay for out of all of this is the car pass, which is only a fraction of the new cars, and Hot Wheels. Everything else is completely free. And I think that's pretty good. There's actually a sort of a spreadsheet over on that a, a user over on GT Planet has been sort of filling in over time. I believe it's Nuclear Bomb, so props to him for you know doing this. But he's made this sort of spreadsheet which shows all of the new cars that has basically come to the game and whether they were new to Forza or returning cars as lots of people actually don't like returning to Forza cars they don't care about them they want new to Forza cars and we can see that it's sort of 50 50 there's a percentage down at the bottom and it says that 53 percent of the cars that were added to the game were new to Forza so that was a lot bigger than I thought now in the next year Let's have a look at what series updates we're going to get. I actually had a look on the calendar and calculated all of this. 2023 is going to have series 16 all the way up to series 28. That's 13 different series, it's not 12, 13 different series updates coming in the next year. One of them is going to have a new expansion, one of them is going to have the second Donut Media update, one of them is going to have the Illuminati update, and I'm sure all of them will have new cars. So the future is looking very good for Horizon 5. Let's go on to 2023. Let me know in the comment section below what update you're looking forward to the most, what you hope they are going to add, and what was your favourite update of 2022. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content just like this, and I'll see you all later.